Today is Test It Tuesday. I'm starting a new thing where every Tuesday I'm going to post a video about the things that we are testing. And right now those are the budgeting apps. So last week we got set up in Monarch and this week I've decided to pick out another budgeting app because unlike banks, it, there's actually no reason to not open multiple budgeting app accounts at the same time unless you know you get tired and you don't want to do it anymore. Monarch, I do have an update for you about them. Um, so I'm going to lead with that and then we're going to hop into Cashew because that is the next word in my jar go. That is the next app that we pulled from our jar. I announced that on my TikTok and my Instagram. So if you want to know before this video which app we're testing, which app we're going to dive into, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll put my handles on the screen. So starting with Monarch, I signed up for a seven day free trial and then I thought I signed up for a weekly renewal of the Monarch app and I didn't. I signed up for the annual renewal of the Monarch app. So when that finally hit, I like messaged them and I said, hey, can I actually have a downgrade? Can I do it month over month instead of annually? And I, I don't think, I don't know if I got an email reply, but I did notice that they switched me to the month over month plan but gave me my money back in credits. So this is actually the worst outcome that could have possibly happened because now I've paid for an annual subscription, not gotten a refund. Um, and they, they put me on a month over month basis, but now like that's gonna get used up quick. Like you might as well just kept me on the end. You might as well just say no. Be like, no, we actually can't refund you. What we could do is either, you know, give you that in credit back to your account and then you know, you just, you spend more money over, like, basically, they should have just told me, no, they can't give me a refund, because that's essentially what happened. Okay, let me show you Monarch. Let me show you where I go, because I did discover a couple of things within the Monarch website. My net worth, oh, my net worth went up, Slay. This is a lie. I just didn't connect accounts quick enough. All right, so going to, I think it's budget, perhaps. I do not mind this setup. I like this because it's kind of like building a budget based off of the transactions that are actually underneath each category. So instead of going like, well, I reviewed my transaction history and this is what I believe my bills to be. It's just telling you what was charged and like how much it actually is coming out to. So if I want to look at this and I go, okay, um, you know, auto payment, I'm going to click on that and then it'll show me, yes, the transfer loan to this, it does that count as the auto payment? Why? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Okay. So what does piss me off is, look, my auto payment, 404, it's it's 40421. So I would love to put 40421 right here, but 404, it won't let me do the little, the sense. It won't let me make sense. And it's low key pissing me off, okay? If I wanted that, oh, 40,000, what is that? No. So then I just have to round up to 405 because I would rather have an inaccurate $1 left in my budget than you know, an inaccurate negative $1. But this has been really helpful for like, I don't know. Uh, okay, I don't know if helpful is the right word, but it's been fun. I guess that's what I want to say. It's been a fun time. So this is kind of encouraging me to at the end of this month or maybe even next month, because I don't know if it's like bringing in all of my transactions, but to go down this line and just go, oh, fitness, what do we have there? The Pilates Co. That's exactly what that is. So it's just like going down your different budgeting categories and you see like what you think it is versus what it actually is. And then you can review what it actually is because maybe so, maybe they like got it wrong. Maybe they thought something belonged to fitness and it didn't belong to fitness. Maybe they thought something belonged to websites and it didn't belong to websites. So like if I go here, Apple, 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 iPostal, Canva. Yeah, all of these are correct. Great. Now down to the flexible budget. I, it was this area that I realized like I am able to put money aside for different things. I guess like I can update this as the month progresses because here's the thing. I don't put a default amount towards certain things. I mean, some stuff I do, but not everything. So I just like, I don't really know how to approach the flexible budget. Maybe I can just review it at the end of the month and enter in the actual values and then just like see how it goes from there. Um, one uh, piece of the functionality that I do appreciate is the fact that if you put something here for the budget, it'll roll over into the following month. Okay, I kind of hate and love this at the same time. So like right now, since I put a thousand bucks for travel and vacation and I spent 1,336, which I don't think that's correct. I think I spent, oh, I spent last month a lot. Okay, this month, um, I spent 1136 That means I went over budget by $136, so that's going to roll over into next month. So next month, I mean, I don't know this for sure because we're not next month yet, but what this means to me 
is that next month my 1000 bucks is going to immediately start with 36 in the hole, 136 in the hole. Now, on the bright side, if I am under budget like fitness, I am up 60 bucks for this month, which means next month I'm going to be, I don't know, on like 260. So next month I'll I'll be like budget 260 cuz my budget is $200 plus the 60. Um, which is like, uh, it's good. The thing I'm struggling with when it comes to budgeting apps in general is the fact that like none of this could actually mean anything. Like I could be a total liar on here right now. I could put as much money as I want in my budget category, even if it doesn't really pan out. And it'll call me out and be like, your income won't cover that. But like none of this really means anything because it's not really attached to my accounts. You know, like this, this is, I don't know what, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard for me to grasp still. But, yeah, I think that at this point in time, this is as far as I'm going to take this, and then we'll see next month how it goes. I'm going to keep up the um, refreshing of my Monarch app. I think we're gonna, I think it's going to be good to start fresh in the new month. <sighs> All right, anyways, moving on to Cashew. So this is what I get when I go on the Cashew website. I want to use the desktop version. I feel like budgeting is a desktop kind of activity, so I'm going to do web app. It, the allergies are going crazy, so I'm going to be rubbing my nose a lot. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, track spending habits with Cashew. Enter your daily transactions to gain powerful insights to your spending habits. So is this manual? Is this entirely manual? That won't upset me. That, it won't upset me, just to be fair. Create a budget. Mm, create a, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Create a budget? What do you mean? Enter an amount? What do you mean? Is this like my full budget? Create a budget. What are you talking about? You can always edit this later, huh? 10. $10 one month. What are you talking about? Let me do $4,000. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 4,000. Set amount. Great. We're just going to continue. Okay, great. I guess we'll just start here. Budget. You can spend a thousand dollars a day for four more days. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Wait, wait, this is fun. Does that mean I can do multiple budget for multiple things? What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Scheduled, calendar, activity logs, but you know, I'm gonna need a tutorial on, on this. So this one's recent, this one's the most recent, and it's quick, it's Hello guys, minutes. welcome back, it's an evidence, but for today's video here, we're going to show you how to use Cashew Expense and Budget Tracker app. So, if you're looking for a way to start using the Cashew Expense and Budget Tracker um. app here, well, the great tracker. So let's go and click on activate here to basically view the demo uh, of the app itself. Not a which already gives you like the general information about your month to uh, look like and to uh, base uh, of the app itself. Now the great thing about the ex uh, expense tracking app here, it actually allows you to uh, basically view how it's going to uh, look like and uh, in your case. So you have your homepage here, which already gives you like the general information about which should give you all the distractions no, that you made like for entertainment or grows. No, I'm sick of it. Don't talk to me anymore. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. We're... We are... At a transaction. Oh, no. This is also manual. Okay. Uh... This is my checking account. This is going to see the most action. Merge account. What do you mean? No accounts found. Account to transfer all transactions to, uh, whatever. <laughs> whatever that means. <sighs> it's a daily, ooh, I want you to be pink. Slay. Save changes. Where the hell did pink go? Why did I choose a color if I wasn't going to see the color anywhere? Oh, I think that's the color of the box. Okay. We're just going to start here. Title, starting point, starting point, notes, starting balance, 
This will be useful when it's something else. Uh, let's go back. Discord, get away right here. Incoming. Five. Ah! Okay, that's satisfying. See, we just got to get the ball rolling on these things. It looks very intimidating. It looks really overwhelming. But once we start entering things, then the fun begins. All right, home. All right, well, I thought that was going to be pink and it's not. So I'm an idiot, I guess. Can I add another one? Add a cat. That's not what I meant. Is this part of daily drip? What are you? What are you? What are you? I count. Oh, duh. Oh my gosh. That was ridiculous of me. Okay. Now I want to do bills. Oh, yeah. Yes. Bills are red. Starting at 5,000. Oh, I could have done that. Well, live and learn. Am I at 5,000? I'm at 5,137. Don't know how that happened. 5,137.80. Set to mount. Slay. Add. <gasps> okay. Okay. Another one. This one. I mean, I can call it Magic and Mayhem, but like I have subcategories within there. So should I break out? My subcategories. Yeah, okay, I'll do I'll just do it all together. Magic and mayhem. Starting at 27648. 27648.52. Fab! Oh my gosh. This is so satisfying. Oh, I needed to change that color. Oh. Sorry, girl. Let me change your color. <sighs> select. That's what I had to do. I had to select it. I didn't select it. Save changes. Ah! I love. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want daily drip to be a fun color too. Because that's my daily colors. Edit. Hmm. Maybe we can make it a pretty blue. Okay, you know, I mean, I guess that's better. I guess that's fun. Oh no, she looks transparent. I was going for Cinderella blue and that's not what happened. All right, maybe I'll do purple, but like a lavender purple, perhaps. Super not lavender. I mean, that's close. That's close enough, I think. No, it upsets me. Let's just go back. Let's go to a vibrant blue and call it a day. Well, now I want it to be that pink color that Magic and Mayhem is. Well, everyone's going to be pink. How about that? How do you like them apples? I can just make it a darker pink. No. Oh, it's like a Barbie pink. I'm into it. Save changes. Oh, yes. Yes. Amazing news. Okay, go back. Uh, is there any other counts that I need to include? I don't think so. Okay, this doesn't really include investing, but that's fine. I don't need to keep track of that in here budget i still don't understand what this is i still don't get it i don't understand i feel like this would be useful if i pull up my paper budget and i look at like what my actual expenses are but as of right now it's just kind of like i don't even know what to make of this mm, no notes necessary entertainment for sure 1302 Bills. Yeah. Add, I don't need to add a transaction. 
Um, do I? All right, fine. Okay, this just proves to me that this is gonna be useful after a month. Like, I can't get ahead of this stuff. It's not a, you enter it and then we'll see if it happens. This is like a, this is like a transaction tracker. So that's my impression of Cashew is it is a transaction tracker and you know if you're doing it correctly because the bank balances that you have, yeah, just gonna get rid of that. The bank balances that you have here will match what you actually have, you know, if you stay on top of it. So it's a good thing I moved all of my money to Ally Bank because otherwise this would be, this would be way more complicated than than was worth putting in the effort so yeah as of right now that's my impression i think we're set up enough and now i just need to i'm gonna enter the transactions this week just to keep everything on check with each other i actually didn't need to have this on anymore. all right so thanks for watching my youtube video that was my update on monarch we got set up in cashew i think we know how to move forward now i haven't gotten charged yet for cashew so if this is i didn't even see anything related to paying money so if cashew is a free tool then like I'm, like, I think that's incredible. Here are all of my social handles, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, I think that's it. <laughs> There's the information to do so. And then I do have a podcast with my best friend. It's called Life in Quarters. It's on Spotify, Apple, Acast, basically anywhere you can watch, what are they called? I mean, listen to podcasts. That's where you can find them. So, yeah.